The resounding success of the Algerian diplomacy in the culmination of the peace and reconciliation in Mali and its tireless efforts to resolve the Libyan conflict are a more eloquent proof of the relevance of the Algerian diplomacy. The national reconstruction and preservation of the country's unity were made possible thanks to the return of peace after the adoption of the Charter for Peace and National Reconciliation in September 2005. Recently, the International Crisis Group has said in a report that Algeria is emerging as an indispensable broker of stability in North Africa and the Sahel. Our guest in our program is Hannah Armstrong, a consultant at the International Crisis Group. Hannah, welcome to our program. Thanks very much. Hannah, please tell us, how does the International Crisis Group get its information? Um, we do research that's field-based, so we do a combination of interviews and analysis um, that's done very carefully over a long period of time. Well, Hannah, please tell us, how do you rate the level of crisis in a country or a region? Um, Okay, well, we have a very serious crisis in Libya, um, where Algeria is working to support the uh, UN-brokered peace agreement between the two different rival camps. Um, the situation in Libya is the most serious, both for Algeria and for the international community. Um, for Algeria, there was, of course, the attack on uh, Ein Amena Satsigintourin that was a product in many ways of, of the situation in Libya and the breakdown in security in that country. Um, and also we have the establishment of the Islamic State, which is a source of great concern um, mm -hmm. to the international community, which we are seeing now in areas like Sirte and Derna. Mm -hmm. um, in Mali, there's been uh, a lot of progress thanks to the negotiations that Algeria hosted yes. um, and was the chief mediator on between the different camps. Um, those did sign a peace agreement in Algiers in June of this year. And we are hoping that the follow-up for the implementation of that accord will be uh, precise and persistent in the time to come. Um, and in Tunisia, where Algeria has also mm -hmm. played you know, a strong role in encouraging um, diplomacy and peaceful, inclusive dialogue favoring a transition, you know, into towards uh, democratic structures. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen, you know, Tunisia gets hailed as the Arab Spring success story, and we've seen a lot of compromise taking place in Tunisia, which mm -hmm. would seem to herald good things for the future. Algeria's return to regional politics after a long absence has been positive in many uh, respects, isn't it? Hello? Um, yes, we've, we've found that Algeria has the potential to play a positive role in regional politics for several reasons. Um, Algeria has a personal stake in having strong states along its borders um, and wants to combat the breakdown in regional security, both for the good of the region and for its own stability, which of course is jeopardized by the insecurity that has spread across the region in the wake of the Arab Spring. Um, under the Foreign Minister Ramtan Lamamra, who is a seasoned um, Africanist and a diplomat with many years of experience at the African Union, um, we've really seen a strong re refocusing of Algerian diplomacy um, towards its neighborhood. And, and you know, we, we judge that the impact of that has been positive and that Algeria, um, both in terms of its own defeat of an internal terrorist threat um, and in terms of its own ambitions for its neighbors to sort of move forward and keep strong states um, at a time when other foreign influences are promoting polarization or supporting certain factions over other factions. So we think that Algeria's uh, role in regional um, political dialogue has mm -hmm. been positive. Hannah Armstrong, consultant at the International Crisis Group, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you.